Today's video is all about lips and of course I asked Miss Jagger to come in and be my lip model because she has the best lips in the business. It's very sweet coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done so many lips on Georgia in our lifetimes. I'm going to be creating three different looks with all of the different products from the Ivermare beauty range. I asked Georgia to come in with a really, really bright blonde hair because I think it looks amazing. And you've just launched a product for that. Yes, so this is our new purple reincarnation shampoo and I've been using this every day and we specially formulated this at Bleach London to help keep your hair super blonde, as bright as possible. So first of all, I'm gonna be using the Wild Star Lip Liner in Outlaw, and it's got this reddy browny tint to it, and it's really perfect for lining your lips if you're doing a red lip look, because it gives a little bit of an ombre. I'm just gonna line it, and this is like a, a suede lip liner, so if you do have anything kind of glossy, it's really good because it just stops the um, product from running, because it has a kind of a matte suede effect, and you can get a really sharp lip line very, very quickly. And then when I, pop the red on, I'm just going to blend that into the lip to give it a nice ombre. It doesn't have to be super perfect because obviously you're going to be blending it in and it's just give a hint of the ombre. So next I'm going to be using Cardinal Red and this is going to go right across Georgia's lips and I'm just going to pop it straight on like this and then I'm going to blend it in with my lip brush and blend it into that lovely brown to give you that nice kind of ready brown ombre. I feel like I've done a red lip on you like more times than I've like. <laughs> oh, sorry, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I've done more times than you've done. One more on time, eh? Yeah, exactly. How many times do you think you've had a red lip done? I mean, for me, it's kind of my favourite look. Is it? I mean, I really like red lip, yeah, because you kind of don't need to have any other makeup on, do you really? It just kind of it's the thing, and you're like, I've just done a bit of eye gloss on you and a bit of mascara, but you kind of don't need anything else. So this lip line is really helpful for lipsticks that bleed as well because it's got that kind of very matte suede pigment to it. So it's great, even with matte lipsticks, anything really, it has a really good kind of locking in effect so you don't get any bleeding. And that's why I really like to use it when I sort of prep my lips for like a red lip, for example. And so once you've done that red, you can then kind of adjust the lip liner as much as you want. I'm actually gonna go back in with that liner and just do a little bit more just to exaggerate that on the break so I think it looks really nice. What kind of red do you go for when you have a red lipstick? Do you go for like an orangey or a bluey? I think orangey for me. I always say everyone has their own perfect shade of red. Like mm -hmm. people who are afraid of red lipstick and like we just haven't found, found it. it. Yeah, shade yet. I totally agree. So once you've finished lining your lips, adding a bit more ombre, I'm now gonna be using the Rust Lip Lac, and I, this is really nice because it will actually transform that red and make it really, really kind of a little bit more interesting and vibrant, and it will move that red into the orangey tone world. And that red underneath is like a really kind of lovely, strong base, and you have that liner that will help any gloss not bleed into the lip lines. And this orange has really tiny pigments of the kind of pearl of like green and gold. So you get a really nice sort of iridescent -y color going on. So that is a really gorgeous lip on Georgia. We've used the Wild Star in Outlaw, which is a reddy brown to just kind of line the lips and give it a slight deeper ombre. And then went over that with the Cardinal Red, which is a really perfect kind of pillar box red. And then I used the Rust on top of that just to really make it very vibrant, shifted it into the orange tone world, which I think complements Georgia really beautifully. we're gonna do is gonna be a very pink icy kind of 90s look and I paired these three I'm using the flamingo which is a sheer pink kind of water shine balm lipstick and I'm gonna pop some of the metal lip pack on the top to make it really cool and icy and I'm gonna line the lips with the bluff from the wild star collection 
So the first thing to do is to take the bluff and this is a really nice sort of dusty pink nude so it's very much a universal lip tone colour and it's great for overlining because it's got that nice sort of dustiness about it which makes it feel like it's giving the lips a little bit of a shadow and again I'm using it because it's really good at holding lipstick and lip gloss in place because of that suede pigment. We're going to be using the Flamingo. So this is a really lovely juicy pink shine balm and I'm just going to kind of blend it up. Do you work in lipstick? Um, girl. Yeah but usually like a sheer one like this. Yeah. Go and dry fuchsia. Do like a matte fuchsia. <laughs> yeah. So obviously that gives her a really beautiful kind of nudey, fleshy pink tone to her lips. So now I'm going to ice it up using the metal lip lap. And I'm just going to start in the middle like this. I'm actually just going to get my finger involved because the pigment will just spread out really nicely. And I just want to ice it up a little bit and give it a bit more of a glowiness. Really simple and easy to do and it just makes the lips really pop. And I've actually used one of the kind of lovely violety pinks from the Industrial 2.0 palette on her lids to kind of complement it and make the whole thing really come together. For this lip look, I wanted to create something that felt a little bit more vampy and so I started out by shading and sculpting Georgia's eyes with some of these deeper tones. Oh, shit balls! <laughs> I'm going to be using the dark lip black and I'm going to be using a buck which is the deeper shade from the Wildstar collection. And I've just prepped her eyes using some of these because I've used this really dark brown here and mixed it with a really nice kind of grey metallic just on her lids with a little bit of purple underneath just to prep her face for the lip look. So I'm going to start by taking the Buck lipstick and to create this look I'm actually going to be doing quite a nice diffused version so I'm not going to be lining the lips with anything because I actually do want to get that kind of that bleed and that softness in the lips. So the Buck's actually a really beautiful sheer kind of grey brown tone with flecks of golden and it's really really complimentary actually if you're fair as well as if you're darker skin tone and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend it just at the edges so that you don't get a hard lip line but you get a really nice soft diffused line and because it's slightly sheer you can see some of Georgia's natural lip colour coming through which actually just makes it look really kind of nice and natural. And now I'm gonna take the lip black and I'm gonna pop that over the top. So this is gonna intensify it, give it some more shine and make it feel really deep and gorgeous and glossy. And I'm gonna just work that into the center of her lips like that. And you have the nice kind of gold glittery pigments from the Buck lipstick combining with these pigments which are more kind of like purpley hue so you get a really interesting colour combination when you combine these two. There. I'm going to just take that brush again and just soften the line like that and you get like a really nice blown out pouty look and this is actually a really good look to do if you are going out because there's nothing worse than constantly worrying about what your lips are looking like when you're out and about. So this, because it's nice and glossy and just diffused, you can just kind of grip it on and then not worry about it, basically. You just keep topping up if you want. Sometimes I do think I should be quite good on QVC, so I'm quite good at just waffling on. <laughs> oh, on and on and on! I use this one on my eyes too. Do you? Yeah. Ah, I've got lip plump ingredients. <laughs> my eyes are so big! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Dr Pepper lip. <laughs> Yeah, that. So that's how you create a Dr. Pepper lip um, using the Wild Star in Buck and a nice dose of the black lip lac and you can see it just diffuses really nicely. You get some nice combos of the gold and the purple pearl coming through to create a really kind of lovely iridescent vibe.